Hey guys, welcome again to my YouTube channel. With this video today, I want to introduce to you this Bitcoin mining website. What you are actually seeing right now is the home page, and there is also a user dashboard and an admin dashboard where you can control everything that happens on the website. So I will take you through the home page right now. You can see the home page is beautifully designed and it's well detailed. All the contents are being written. I will take you through the about us page now. So the about us page loading now. This is the about us page. As you can see the contents are written on it. You don't have to stress yourself to get content for the website. So right now we will create an account. I'll put in my first name, my full name, then I'll choose a username. I input my email address and I will create a password. I accept the uh, terms and conditions, then I'll sign up. You can see you have successfully registered. Check your email to verify email address. So we successfully created an account. All I will have to do now is to log in to my account. I'll log into an account. So I'll log into an account. So this is the dashboard of the website. You can see right now I have a wallet commission of five hundred and sixty point six four five dollars, and there's a referral link here. So this actually means that a, refer a referral feature is actually part of this website. You can give your referral link to other users to register with that link, and you will also earn commission from their registration. So when you go to edit profile. This is the page where you can edit all your profile details, like the full name, the the your Bitcoin address. You can input your Bitcoin address, which can be used when you want to make withdrawal. And here you can see update password. You can update your password there by putting in your old password, your new password, and you confirm that new password. So by the time you go to my Bitcoin on the sidebar, you will see the various mining packages. That has been registered on the website which was done by the admin you can see right now we have different mining packages so when you choose my bitcoin now on a particular package it means that you actually want to select that package and right now i selected this first one and for this first one is 15 dollars and it has a 1.4 dollar mining daily profit for 15 days so when we check the other packages you see the difference the difference between each packages so I'll pick this first one now. It says my Bitcoin. I'll click on my Bitcoin. It's asking me to select a payment mode. I can make payment via my balance, or I can make a I can make payment via a fresh deposit. So right now, what I'll do is I'll make payment via balance now. And you can see right now, you say click on the de deposit button below to pay fifteen dollars via balance. So fifteen dollars will be deducted from my account balance so i'll click deposit now so you see main at 15 dollar package is activated successfully and is now active so this many package now is now what active you can see right now you can see it now so when i go to my mining this is the mining log of all my active and inactive mines so you can see this is my many page this is the main which I just created just now. You can see now, mine are fifteen dollar package, and it's what is still what active. So by the time you go to dying liners, and these are the number of persons which are under me. So we can also see that these are the number of persons which I referred into the platform using my own referral link. So I can come here to copy my referral link, and I can give it to somebody else to 
register one that person registers my deadline a year increases and i will also earn commission from their registration so i tell you go to deposit this way you can make a deposit to fund your account and payment method is actually bitcoin so this is the admin bitcoin address which is coming from the back end so i can copy this address to make payments i'll put in the amount which i want to make payments i'll put in a thousand dollars now and see after i make payments and i'll come here to input my transaction id after i have made payments so i'll put in a transaction id now so this is a fake transaction id just for this tutorial and then i'll click on deposits so you can see your deposit order of 1000 usd has been placed and it's now waiting for approval your transaction id is this so this is the transaction id the platform generated for me that the admin we used to track my own deposits and it says your funds will be credited to your balance as soon as we confirm the payment so as soon as the admin confirms that the payments actually going through my deposit will be approved and the balance sorry and the amount which i deposited will be credited to my account so i'll click ok now you can see right now it's still pending this is the deposit log the deposit history still pending it shows the amount it shows the um, status and it shows the date which i deposited so by the time we go to withdraw now and see now this the drop um, method is actually bitcoin and this is the bitcoin wallet which i set in my profile when i select a withdrawal method now which is bitcoin and put in the amount so i'll put in the amount of 100 dollar now you can see you can see now you say wallet is required so i need to add wallet to my accounts okay so I will carry out the withdraw again. I'll choose the withdraw method. I'll put in the amount. Right now, I want to withdraw a hundred dollar. I will click on withdraw. So it's telling me wallet is actually required. So when there's no wallet in your profile, you have to set a wallet before you can actually make withdraw. So I'll choose my withdraw method again. Put in my amount. That I'll click on withdraw see your withdrawal has been successfully sent at least with at least 48 hours before any tickets thanks for choosing us so we go to transfer i can actually transfer um funds from my account to another user's account just by putting in the person's username putting in the amount and click transfer so that particular amount which i decided here will be sent to that user which i specified under the recipient's username so I'll go, when i go to history this contains all history um, all deposits history deposits fresh deposits or when i actually make deposits for a particular money package so that is it for the admit dashboard now let me walk you through that is it for the user that was sorry let me walk you through the admin dashboard now so this to get through to the admin Panel. all you have to do is put in your domain name slash admin and this login box will display so i'll put in my admin email address put the admin password and i'll sign in so we are seeing we are looking at the admin dashboard now and task this statistics written on them already the total investors the total amount that has been invested total invested and the requested withdrawal we have we have total amount withdrawn and total amount deposited so let me walk you through the sidebars now when you go to security this is where the admin can actually change its password so this actually entails the security of your admin account you can change your password here you can go to settings to carry out the website settings put in your site name sorry your site link which is your domain name your site name the email address of your site so the site title to and year of your site we can put it there too and for this one you can actually upload a logo 
to the site. So when you go to admin wallet, this way you set the Bitcoin wallet that the users will pay into. So I can remove this now and put type in another wallet. So this is just a demo wallet for this tutorial. I'll click this. You can see details have been successfully updated. And see now there, there was a change. So we click on currency. This way you can actually add a currency. So right now we add Bitcoin. Now it's asking me for a cryptocurrency logo. So I will go to Google to search for Bitcoin logo. So I'll pick this. I'll save this now. I'll see call it BTC logo. So come here now. Select the image I saved and open it. I'll click update. As the details has been successfully updated. So when I go to cryptocurrencies, I'll see the currencies which I actually created. See them now, and I can still delete them. So when you go to investors management, you can view all investors. This carries the total list of persons that have registered. On your site, look at the, look at the, the list they have lined up in the tabular form. You can go from list to list, from page to page. You can see now the number of persons that have registered on this platform. When you go to manage users, you will be able to do some edits on the users. So, right now, I can go to this particular user and click edit. I can edit the user details. You can see I'll edit the user details. Edit, edit the user details. You can come to manage users again. When I click delete, I can delete a particular user account. And when the particular user account is deleted, the person can't actually register again to your platform. And when you click on view, it shows the details of a particular user. You can see right now you can see it shows the full name the username the email address the password and every other details so when you go to investors investment so this is actually the um, money that the users have has done so each of the each of the users you can see right now I see this one is particular is actually active. This is the one I did on the user side just now, and you can see it's active. And I can actually stop this package right now. You can see other packages, other uh, many has actually been completed, and the profit has been added to that particular user's account. You can see it right now. I can actually stop a package. So I will click on this pa stop package now, and see package successfully stopped. And when the package stops, the status of the package will change to completed. See it down. So I'll go to requested transactions. So when you go to withdrawal request, this shows the list of withdrawals that the users have actually placed. So I'll look for the one I placed just now. So look at it. So you can see now the with the wallet address. So you can see now I, I can choose to complete this withdrawal and I can choose to delete the withdrawal. So right now, since the withdrawal is pending, I want to click on complete. And see transaction approved successfully and investors what is credited. So for all these actions, the user will actually get a mail. So a, a, an approval mail has been sent to the user already that this transaction is what's successful. So by the time we go to deposited orders, this includes all the total deposits that users have made. You can see now, you can see the deposit now, list of deposits. And you can choose to approve this deposit and also delete the deposits. So you can see the status of the deposit. Some are seen pending and some are actually approved. The name of the email address of the user actually display and the plan which they deposited for actually display to and the amount to
So you can see now, you can see the list of the deposit orders. So when I click on approve now, you see that the user account will be what when you, when when the charge when the deposit is approved, the user account will be created that particular amount. So for fund transfer, includes includes the list of fund transfer done by the users too. So you can see right now this sender, this is the name of the sender of the funds, and this is the what receiver and the amount which was sent displays here too. This is the date which the the amount was what transferred, and you can also choose to delete this. So we go to manage packages. You can choose to add packages here. So the cloud speed name, which is the mining name, the hour, the hourly percentage increase, the duration, and the fee too. So it can be added. And we go to view added packages. It includes all the packages that has been added on the platform. You can see, and we click on the updates. You can update a package. You can change details and click update package. And you can see package updated successfully. When you go to send mail, send message and mail, you can send mail to a particular user. When you send mail, but you add the subject here, the recipient mail, the person you want to send the mail to, you put in the email address here, and you type in the message here. So that is it. That is how the platform works. So I will take you through the installation steps right now on how you can actually set up this kind of website, either for yourself or for your clients and charge them a huge amount of money so right now without wasting more time let's start with the installation and before you can set up this website for the clients you need to have your domain name you need to have your hosting i need to have this application too you need to get the script so to get the script you can contact me through my contact details which is actually on this video description Okay, I've logged, in, I've logged into my cPanel now and I'll go to File Manager. Go to my File Manager right now. So, you will want to install yours under your public underscore HTML because you want it to be on your main domain. But for me, on this tutorial, I want to install it inside a folder. So, I will create a folder, I'll call it Prime Block. So I'll create a prime book folder now and I'll go into that folder. Then I will upload. Click on select file to select the particular um, script file. And I'll click on open. You can see right now it's uploading. Okay, as you can see right now, the script has fully been uploaded. So I'll go to I'll exit this page now. I will reload this particular page. You can see the script. I will select the file and right click. Then I will click on extract to extract the file into the directory which I want it to be. So it's extracting right now. Still extracting. The file has been extracted. I will reload it again and it's loading again. Then I'll go into the folder. Select all files. So I'll select all and move it into the directory which I want it to be, which is my the folder which I created. So all the files will move now. So the files have been moved. I'll click up one level to go back to the folder. So the files are loading. The files are loading now. So are we view the link on my on browser loading now
So as it's loading, so you can see our website is showing on the domain which I just uploaded it to. What we'll do next is uh when we see now we'll try to log in now. So I just clicked on login. The login page is still loading. So when I try to log in, you see. So I'll go back to the old page of my cPanel and go to page, sorry, my SQL wizard to create a new database. So I'll create a new database and I'll call it prime block DB. I'll click on next step. So that I can copy the database which I created now. Paste it here. I'll create a user, call it prime block user. Then I will generate a password. Okay, I will select this password and copy it. I'll still go to my notepad to save the password there. Then I will create a user. After the user has been created, I will copy the username which was created and I will click on all privileges. I will scroll down to click on next step. So you can see now my database has been created. So I will go back to my file now. I will edit con.php file. You can see now. So the first one is the username. I will go back and copy my username. Second one is the password. Copy password. I'll paste it there. Then I'll copy my database name, which is the third one. Then I'll save changes. I'll go back again to my cPanel to search for PHP admin. So now PHP admin is opening right now. Uh, we go to the database which I created. I created Prime Plug DB. So I just selected the database now and click on Import. So you go back to File Manager. You see this SQL folder. Go inside the SQL folder and download this database file. I see download. I'll go back to Page Manager again. I'll select on Browse. Now select the database file which I just downloaded and we we'll click on open then I'll scroll down and click on import. So it's important now. So it's important and that's fully been imported. I'll click on the database to see all database table. So right now I'll go to my website and see the website is running now. So I want to log into the admin to see if I will be able to log in. So it will be slash admin. You can see. So to get your admin password, go to the database which is PHP admin. Click on this admin. So this is the admin email. Copy it paste it there this is the admin password paste it here too so the next thing you do now is go to settings under admin so you see this now this is your domain name so I will paste it here I'll copy my site link and paste it here so without the HTTPS don't add the HTTPS to it so main actually slash prime block because I uploaded it inside prime block folder. 
So yours can be just your domain name. So you see this now. I'll remove it and I'll put prime block main. I'll remove this to input my site email address. So to get a site email address, go to your page of your cPanel. Go to email account. You click on create to create an email account. So click on create. You select the domain name. Your can just be one domain name here. You input the username, which can be support. You generate a password. You also save that password, then you want to create. So right now, I want to use the one I created before. So I'll use this. I'll use this now. So you can see how we save it there so i'll copy this name you can see welcome to prime block mine pull in 2023 then i will date settings you can see settings updated so when i reload here now you can see the details which i updated it to our channel displaying right now so i'll go back to the home page so i'll log out from the admin now i'll go back to my home page Back to my own page and see right now everything is working properly. Everything is working properly. So you can actually delete all these users. Delete all these users. You can go to operation and see empty table. So they don't click on delete row. So just empty the table, truncate. That's how you delete all the users that has been there. So don't always forget to make your PSP version to be 7.4. So I'll check my PSP version 7.4. So I either I search for PSP version or I search for PSP multi PSP manager. So this is domain name. This is the the domain name which I'm actually using is okay. Okay, is this? So I see right now. I put it to 7.4. Put it to select 7.4. That's how the script will work properly. So this is the tutorial on how to design a Bitcoin mining website. And if you need this script, all you have to do is contact me um, on WhatsApp with my WhatsApp number, which is under this video description. And if you encounter any issue uploading or installing this script, you can also contact me for guide. Thank you very much for watching. See you in my next video.